Here you are ready to do sweep number 18. Again, a really easy set of number facts. This time we're looking at multiplying by 10 and dividing by 10, all in one sweep because they're so easy. Here's an array showing columns of 10. Of course, there are three columns. So we can see three times 10 equals 30. 10 times three equals 30. Depending on the resources that you're using, you can spin this 90 degrees and show the turnaround facts are always the same just as we would do similarly for addition. So we're saying 30 divided by 3 equals how many? 30 divided by 10 equals how many? We're seeing this as a number fact family. Now I will mention here, I've already said this a couple of times in these videos, the multiplying by 10 facts are really just place value. So if we say uh, 3 tens is what? We have a name for 3 tens. And that's 30. That's what 30 means. It's almost, it's a definition of the word. And we write it with a three in the tens column. So to say how many tens are there is a, almost a trivially easy question. So th the worksheets this week will probably, uh, the students rather, will probably fly through the worksheets this week because they are so easy. And dividing by 10, if it ends with a zero, if there's a zero in the ones place to be more specific, then the answer will be the number of tens or the other digit. I strongly urge you not to talk about adding zero or crossing out zero or getting rid of zero because it's a little misleading. It's better to say how many tens are there, what's the number in the tens place, that sort of thing, um, to relate it to the, the true meaning of the symbol. Anyway, that's plenty of talking for such an easy set of number facts. I will see you next time.